In today's video, we're going to be installing and reviewing this vehicle backup camera system. It does have your uh, Micron 6P lens, high resolution, ultra wide, 150 degree, night vision, water resistance. Now, this is on the lower end of the spectrum. Uh, backup systems, you do have, you know, your higher end and the ones that are integrated with the, the radio system. But this one's just a regular vehicle backup system something easy for you all to use uh like if you don't want to be splicing or anything like that it's just a direct connect to that cigarette lighter and it just simply makes for a very simple install so let's go ahead right to it so you do get the screen now mind you this is plastic on it so that's what it's scratched but it's not the actual screen that's scratched you get this here, you can install this on your windshield. It has a suction for it, for that. Um, and like uh, this is part of the connector that comes with it. It also comes with the camera and this is basically, it just goes on the license plate and you can kind of, you know, move it up or down. But you'll get to adjusting that once it's already installed up on the windshield. And this just come with a connection to integrate with the reverse light if you would like for it to interact. And only come on when you use the reverse light. And here's this big old thing of wire. This basically uh, goes one goes, one stays up front, which is this right here. This stays up here. And you get your cigarette lighter as well. So what we're gonna do is we'll install this one here. And that, with this, you turn it on or off. So right now it's on and we'll leave it off and we're gonna connect the camera now. So start off with, you're going to have to find out a way to route the wire. So what I'm going to do is route the wire this way, under that center console, under the seat, onto the, in here, like inside this, right here. And it's going to need to come out right there. And we're going to run it up here and then towards the back into the back seat but let me go ahead and, and let's just go ahead and get started so to start off with we will be getting the connector and make sure you get the end that has a two split ones and you see down here and then the rest runs uh to the rest of the wire so you get this one that has the two splits like that and this one is going to go connect it to the screen to the one that, that comes from the screen so what you're going to do here is simply this so all you're doing is make sure you see the arrow and you line it up with this arrow and all you're doing is Sorry. And then you line it up with this arrow and then what you're simply doing is just connecting. So that's... So make sure when you connect it, you have both arrows as seen right here, connected. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this part on there. So I'll just make sure that this is turned horizontal like that and since i'm gonna put my screen on the windshield we're gonna slide that up twist this like that and then this second one right here we're gonna twist it like that and that should get us like this I'm going to get this, this end is for your power. So you just simply connect these. And 
and there you go so now from here i will be running this wire down this way and i'll probably get some type of velcro and just tuck it in under all this so it could just be hidden not in the way so then from there from that side we're just going to run it down this way we're going to run it under this um, this side molding and we're going to install this one right now and that way we could get it get this hidden under here so we're gonna be in the way just like that <clears throat> i'll also leave a video linked on how to in the description how to remove these it's pretty simple and how to install them onto the onto that plastic molding but for now i'm just gonna skip this part once you have these more uh, like that you just simply push on them and it snaps this molding snaps back into place all right and now to get the the cord back here uh we have to unlatch the the rear seat so the way we're going to do that is all right guys so the way i got this to move like that was i used this flat this flat screwdriver and then right like that how you're seeing i just pushed it and that pushes to unlatch this back seat here this back thing it's really hard well once you're done with that you have space in here so you can see so now so you see that came out through there now we just keep feeding it i'm just gonna hide it back here and i'm going to run this wire and i'm just gonna be tucking it in so bear with me okay just remember to get this seat to move a little bit forward you're going to have to, to do the latch and go like this at an angle and then you're gonna kind of feel it that it pushes and just keep pushing until it, it moves and this becomes visible right here Th this that i'm touching with that flathead that becomes visible when you start pushing it at it like this and you're gonna have to do the same for this over here that's how you remove this back see but for now we're just gonna be we're gonna get that and you we have it tucked tucked through here tucked in there and what i should have done was i should have gone under this but i'll, I'll redo it later I'll feed it out then retuck it in there but we're, we're, this is what we're gonna what we're gonna do right now my goal right now is just to get you guys and show you how uh, to do it then from there you guys can you know do your own thing so right now just give me a chance i'm going to go ahead and tuck this in through here okay now all we got to do is put this right here and we're gonna put the camera on the license plate like so all right once you got it uh hooked on there you just kind of level this all like add this behind and we're probably gonna feed this some through here now, this is not the final resting place of my connection i'm just gonna do it for demonstration purposes but then this last uh female end you connect with the male end make sure that the arrows face each other like so a little arrow that one and now the moment of truth get your key 
and open this up don't forget to connect your power connect this in here into your cigarette lighter make sure it's on make sure you keys to the on position your button now you're going to turn it on and there you have it there's your reverse cam for the night wow! so you can see the picture clearly and so on this one since it's, i don't have it hooked up to the rear view i mean the reverse tow lamp you can just switch it off switch it back on and there you have it so i'm just going to adjust the cam there so it can kind of point down and that way you can uh have these lines can be a little more down and that should be it works perfectly fine at night has a very bright light so let's go check it out on the outside and that's how it looks once it's on in reverse pretty bright pretty bright if you ask me uh Face of the and there you have it. That's the LED lighting you can see down when you're reversing. And that's all for this product, guys. If you'd like to know the uh, where to get it, I have the description down. Uh, I have the link down below. And don't don't forget that one, if you do purchase it through that link, uh, you do help out the channel uh, as well. So make sure you use the link to purchase the product and that goes to helping the channel to get you to bring you guys more reviews like this and that's pretty much it for today so thank you all and have a good one